Good afternoon, Eagle Nick audience. I am Eagle Nick. And I just got back from the Walmart, went and got my cat some cat food. Thanks to old creepy Joe Biden, the smelling felon. It now costed $19.99 for what used to be about 14 bucks. A 22 pound bug, $19.99, right at just a little under a dollar a pound. Good afternoon, Eagle Nick here. Just got back from buying some meow food for the kitty kitties. We're going to check on the progress of the bees over here. I'd say they're all still here. As you'll see, the Dalton Parks and Recreation Department does not care if the poor people come down here and get stung. Now, I've done did at least five or six lives. Let them know about the dangers of these yellow and brown walls. But you can see they've never did it thing about them it's got so bad got three of them on there they look like yellow jacket walls they are same color as a yellow jacket but they are walls they are not the little small yellow jackets now when i was down here doing my live stream the other day they was one of them took off with chasing me they are very aggressive there's one of them now you see it's flying around so there is four on it now and here comes its cousin Eagle Nick is trying to keep from getting stung. When I go to my arraignment, I'm going to try to keep from getting hung. They violate your rights each and every day. Stand up for your rights. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I hope that you are doing good. Now, there is no one on the playground, so don't you start talking your trash. I just came back from the Wally World. Had to go get some kit and caboodle. Of course, I'm on my bicycle, and I've got a word to say to all them trolls that wants to say that Eagle Nick, oh, it's riding a bicycle because he's got DUIs and is on probation and lost his license. Now, Eagle Nick Audit has not got no DUIs. Eagle Nick Audit sold his car of his own free will and his own accord. Eagle Nick Audit is still a licensed driver. As you will see, here is Eagle Nick's driver's license for the state of Georgia. You'll see Eagle Nick had long hair. It was almost down to my shoulders. Now this was taken seven years ago. They expire next year in 2025 on my birthday. Read them and weep there, you crows. It wants to say that Eagle Nick has DUIs. Eagle Nick rides a bicycle by choice. Just like Eagle Nick told everybody. Eagle Nick sold his car, but he because he got fed up with them outrageous insurance premiums. <laughs> Eagle Nick decided that he would not be in bondage anymore to the outrageous practices of the insurance companies who raise our rates every single year without any accidents. They try to price it out of the range of the poor. No matter how good of a driving record that you have, they increase your premiums every single year. I'd hate to see 
what the insurance premiums would be if I had a kept that car all the way up to the abiding administration because it is ruining our whole entire nation. Eagle Nick all Nick says it is time we stand up for our rights. Stop letting them do us this way. You know what I mean, Burn? Let your voice be heard. Come here. Don't be bothered by a discouraging word. You can either stand up for your rights or you sit down and you shut your mouth. Because if you can't stand up for yourself, There'll be somebody do it for you, but when they do, don't spread. Our government is corrupt and complacent. The Eagle Nick Audix goes for his arraignment in the morning at 9 a.m in the courtroom of Judge Burt Poston at the Whitfield County Courthouse in Superior Court for a misdemeanor Class B criminal trespass damage of $500 or less. Now, criminal trespass is usually handled in either magistrate or probate court yet they seek to arraign and possibly even try Eagle Nick Audis in Superior Court which is usually for felony cases. Now Eagle Nick Audis could not even make a $50 O.R. Bond, even though Eagle Nick Audits is a taxpayer, property owner. No, sir. You will see this voice is coming right from Eagle Nick. A lot of people hate it because it makes them sick. But Eagle Nick don't care. That's how it's going to be. I'm doing this all for you and me. It is time that we stand up or sit down and shut up. So which will it be? Eagle Nick does not see it. He does not beg. He does not roll over. He does not play dead. Eagle Nick Audits. How you doing there, Colin? Mr. Jake Johnson. Explorers are us. No, sir, Mr. Jake Johnson. I do not mind you asking. Eagle Nick Audits is not fake or fraudulent. What you see is what you get. And when you get a taste of Eagle Nick, all this, you won't forget. I stand up. I fight for the red, white, and blue. I'm not doing it just for me. I'm doing it for you. Hello, Mr. T. Thomas. Glad to see you again, my friend. Now, as I was saying, my arraignment is in the morning at 9 a.m. in the Whitfield County Courthouse in the chambers of Judge Burt Poston in the Superior Court of Whitfield County. Now, Judge Burt Poston, sir, I hope Eagle Nick hopes and prays 
that you will be a fair and impartial judge, that you will stick by your oath that you swore to the United States Constitution to protect the rights of the citizens of Whitfield County, Dalton, Georgia, that you will not continue to let them enforce feelings. Hey, I thank you very much, Mr. Brody, or Mrs. Brody, whichever the case may be. I've said before, Eagle Nick is the million dollar poet. If I had a million dollars, then I'd just blow it. But I wouldn't have anything left. I would be like Brewster's millions. I would not need it. People like you, Mr. Brian Johnson, you boot licking troll. That is the problem with America. It's boot licking trolls, blue line gang banger supporters that likes to lick them boots clean. Bow down to the man and lick them boots. Cause Eagle Nick don't do it no matter if they're wearing suits. Eagle Nick stands up for his rights. Because I'll tell you this now. Yes, sir. I, I may be a little nuts because I have a lot of squirrels chasing me. You know what I mean, Bird? You are looking at a playground because Eagle Nick Audit is back in town. I just came back from the Walmart. I had to go buy some Kia and Caboodle for all of my cats. Now, I'm talking about, I make a lot of sense. You are the one who makes no sense, Mr. Lane Boyce. Eagle Nick Audits is expressing his voice. If you don't like it, you can hit the bricks. You know what I mean, Vern? I am not babbling. I am stating the truth. No, Mr. Alec Halifanonis, however the hell you say it, I'm not looking for a date. I'm talking about my arraignment that is going on in the morning. No, Eagle Nick Audits will show you something there, you little boot-licking troll. Let's see if we can't help you out there. I'm going to cancel that. You're lucky. If I could get on to my thing, I, I, would, I would send you packing down the road there, buddy. It is called free speech, but you're a damn boot-licking liar. Is your sore throat from them high heel stilettos going down your throat there, buddy? Mr. Brian Johnson, you know what I say to you? You need to go get you some preparation aids and some Vagisil. And that will make you feel better. It will heal your rectum and it will heal that other thing you got going on there. You know what I mean? I am filming my damn bicycle. I'm not filming no playground, you jackass. Yeah, I'm at a playground. Look at the invisible kids. Look at all them invisible kids. You are a sick pedophile. You would like me to film kids for you because you are the sicko, not Eagle Nick. Eagle Nick has, was fetching food for his cats. I sure as hell was. Because my cats was hungry. That won't show me that damn comment for some reason. No, sir, Brian Johnson. 
You're the one inspecting rectums. You are the rectum inspector, but that's supposed to mean you were, you inspect them. Your rectum is like Walmart. It has a revolving door. Your rectum, Mr. Brian Johnson, is like McDonald's, billions and billions served. You know what I mean, Vern? Ain't no boot licking troll gonna get the best of Eagle Nick, cause I don't give a rat's ass what you say. You have a right to free speech, but you better watch that mouth. Cause I can guarantee you that if my moderators does not do something about it now, when Eagle Nick audits gets back up to his house, or actually when I end this live stream right here, I will remember this username and I guarantee you, you won't be talking no more bullshit. You won't be seeing anything else but the damn door. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. What's up, our bad seed? Yo, your boy Danny, what's up there? Eagle Nick is not a snitch. You are a stupid little son of a, you know what? You keep talking all that bull crap. Just because I called you out for being a blue line gang banger supporter, boot licking troll, you want to get mad, Mr. Brian Johnson? I am not making any threats there, Mr. Brian Johnson. All I speak is the truth, and the truth shall set you free. I am at Al Rollins Park in Dalton, Georgia. Come on down, and you can be the next contestant on the Eagle Nick Show. Amen there, Brody. You said a mouthful right there. Now, Eagle Nick Audits is fast approaching 5,500 subscribers in seven months. But I can tell you what, the Eagle Nick Audits has twice as many boot licking trolls that I have already blocked from my channel. But I decided that even boot licking trolls that like to lick them boots clean, they need a place to have their words heard just to expose how stupid they are. Well, I tell you what, Mr. Howard County Observer, how did you like to change that former President Barack Hussein Obama promised that he was going to bring to America? Yes, sir, he brought about a change. But he did not change this country for the better. This country picked back up. It was made a great again by Mr. Donald John Trump from 2017 to 2020. But I tell you what now, I will tell you now that Joe Biden in his first three and a half years is done more to destroy this country that we live in. The greatness that Mr. Donald John Trump had brought back. But 
the Joe Biden administration. Oh, Uncle Creepy Joe, the smelling felon. He has got to go. The United States of America cannot handle much more of this. Do you know what I mean, Burn? Eagle Nick audits would not want to be in office, just like Donald John Trump said for 30 to 35 years, every single year. People from Oprah Winfrey to everybody in the news media would ask Donald John Trump, will you run for president? If you do not believe me, you look it up. You Google it and you will see videos on YouTube where they have a compilation where they ask Donald John Trump, and they had the videos run together saying, will you run for president? And he says, no. He says, I would not have this job. But he says, we need a president who will make America great again, who will make us strong, who will stand up for the Constitution, who will stop denying the rights to the American people. Now, the Democrats, they are not for America. They are not for the people. They are only about the money that they get. All of the money that the, the Democrats has sent to Ukraine. Why do you think that it is being sent? Because the Biden administration, namely the smelling felon Joe Biden, is receiving kickbacks. Now, Joe Biden, when he was the vice president, had went to Ukraine. He told the president of Ukraine, said, if you do not fire the special prosecutor that is investigating Burisma, where his son Hunter was on the board. If they did not fire that special prosecutor, that they would not get the $1 billion loan that the United States had promised. Now the president of Ukraine said Joe Biden you are not the president. Joe Biden flat out said in the video that you can look up on YouTube where he brags. I actually have it somewhere on my YouTube channel. He says, try me. He says he told them that he would be leaving. You are a liar, Brian Johnson. I have the damn video with Joe Biden's own mouth saying it. You are a liar. You are spreading misinformation. Joe Biden said it himself. You say what you want to say. It just goes shows. It just goes to show how complete your ignorance is how deep those boots have been down your throat. You don't even have a voice of your own. You spout the bullshit of the Democrats. You cannot even think for yourself. Eagle Nick Audis does not allow that to happen to me. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. But please stop spamming Free Palestine. Now, when you keep putting it over and over, that is spamming. No, I don't want him to have to go, but he needs to quit spamming. Brother Alec, I am not spouting right-wing bullshit. Eagle Nick, oh, this. 
just tells the truth, and the truth shall set you free. But it's like a distant relative of mine, a relative of mine, once said in the movie, A Few Good Men, you can't handle the truth. You, sir, Mr. Brian Johnson, are as crazy as the people in the movie that my distant relative was in. One flew over Cuckoo's Nest. Have you figured out who that relative is? If you have not, he is none other than Mr. Jack Nicholson. Eagle Nick just tells the truth. It's not my fault that you can't handle the truth. I don't even know what that means there, Mr. Tanner. That just like a bunch of words there. You're not even making sense with the damn words you're saying. Yes, yes. Eagle, Nick. Eagle, Nick. Oh, this. I am Eagle, Nick. And if you can't handle the truth, then you can plug up years. I don't cater to liars and the left. I am not asking you to vote for a certain party. I'm only asking you to open your eyes. Look up what's what look around you and see what's going on. Don't sit back and hide in your basement like creepy Joe Biden the smelling felon. Brian Johnson, how about you take your girlfriend or your wife or your mother to the White House? I'm sure the smelling felon would like to get a good smell. You know what I mean? I bet you'd say it's okay if he wants to smell them. You'd let him. You'd probably say, bend over so he can get a good smell. Now, like I said, Eagle Nick just went and got some cat food so that he could feed his cats. But Eagle Nick, oh, this also bought something for himself. Eagle Nick, oh, this bought him a pack of 24 7 red 100s. And I am going to break them out right now and light one, if that is okay with y'all. The Eagle Nick audience wants to tell y'all, y'all can feel free if you would like to make you an Eagle Nick audience t-shirt or have one professionally made. Eagle Nick audience doesn't care. I am not trying to stop anyone from making their own Eagle Nick Audits t-shirt. I am not trying to get rich off my YouTube channel. Eagle Nick Audits is just exercising his rights, standing up for the rights of the American people. But it is like I've said, that every single person on the face of this earth we all have basic human rights. Well, Brody, I'm telling you, there's got to be a place where you live to where you can have one made. Just take your phone and show them my logo on my, my YouTube channel, Eagle Nick Audits. Just get them to spell the name the same way. Run it together with as one word. That. The capital E, capital N, capital A. And I would love for it to say on the back, this is Eagle Nick, and I'm out.
I am out of mind. I am out of patience. Well, bro, own shirt made, and you can do anything you want with it. You can stick that shirt so far up your rectum that it comes out your nostrils. I don't care what you do with it. But I would appreciate it if you would wear it first. You can say, have put on our eagle neck out. It sucks. Say whatever you want to. You know what I mean? It is not little neck. It's eagle neck. I also know how to spell what you have. It's called I-G-N-O-R-A-N-C-E. That is called ignorance. That is because you are an ignoramus. You are a boot-licking, blue-line, gang-banging supporter troll. But that is just fine. The only reason you are still here is because Eagle Nick owned it has went out and found a couple of new bridges for all you bootlicking trolls to have a place to stay, to get out of the rain and get out of the sun. Eagle Nick Audits has a place. Yes, I'm sweating like crazy. I'm in the state of Georgia. It is about 90 plus degrees, but the humidity is even higher. But Eagle Nick is enjoying a cigarette, but I done let it go out because Brian Johnson has made me so damn mad that I didn't get it lit. Brian Johnson, you are dead wrong. I can do something about it. I can block you from my channel to where you will never hear another word. You will never see a short or a video that I do. Don't think I can't because I have blocked at least a thousand boot licking trolls when I first started up my YouTube channel. Before I had a thousand subscribers, I had done blocked over a thousand people and Jaden you are calling me a crackhead but let me tell you something why don't you quit sticking that crap up your rectum and try smoking it because if you do your breath will smell like crap all the time you know what I mean Burn? There is another one of them blue line gang banger boot licking trolls. This is not incredible. This is Eagle Nick. Oh, it coming at you live one more time to tell you tomorrow morning, July the 9th. At 9 a.m. at the courthouse in Whitfield County, I will be going for my arraignment. No, because if I did a cover. A fortunate son, YouTube would uh, place a copyright on my B. I don't want to have no copyright strikes. I tell you what, Brian Johnson, if you had it all in your mouth, you'd only be able to mumble. <laughs> which is exactly what you want. Kick them bricks out of you boot licking troll. Leave me be, I appreciate you being in here. 
Well, I will be at my arraignment. It is not a hearing. That is where everyone will hear Eagle Nick Audit say, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty. First Amendment protected activity means that a person exercising their rights under the First Amendment of the United States Constitution is protected by the United States Constitution. No, Eagle Nick is not invincible. That is why we must all stand up. Oh, and I guess you're a Bidener, huh? So you're always not guilty, huh? The smelling felon took documents home, had documents from when he was the vice president over 12 years ago. Oh, but that was all right. Y'all act like... Joe Biden can't do nothing wrong. Mr. Brian Johnson, I bet you wish you could stick your nose as far up Joe Biden's ass as you do all them bootlickers that gets on here wanting to cause Eagle Nick to get mad. I say your nose up Biden's ass. How you like that? Brian Johnson is seeking his 15 minutes of fame, but I guarantee you this, after this live stream is over, they won't nobody remember the name. They will remember the name Donald John Trump. So Brian Johnson, why don't you go back in your damn basement and help create some more of them fake fraudulent ballots for your hero, Mr. Smellin' Felon, Creepy Joe Biden, the disgrace of the whole United States, who cannot even speak a word that is coherent, even when he is reading from a teleprompter. Now, when Joe Biden, the Smellin' Felon, and former president, make America great again, Donald John Trump, had their presidential debate. It said that it was not in front of a live audience. It was the first time since I don't know how long it said, but I know it was a damn long time. And they did that exactly because they did not want no live audience react itself. How he embarrassed the Democrat Party. How he embarrassed the United States of America. There is many Democrats calling right now for Joe Biden to step aside to let someone else have the nomination for the Democratic Party, for President of the United States. But the smelling felon says he will not step down. That is because he can't even walk without falling down. You know what I mean, Burn? Donald John Trump only wanted to make America great again. Now, like I said, you can look it up, Google it, look on YouTube, and you will see a video where they asked Donald Trump for 30 to 35 years in a row, asked Donald John Trump 
if he would run for president. And he said, no, I would not have the job. But America needs a great leader, someone who will be for the Constitution to stand up for the rights of the American people who will make America great again. Now, after eight years of former President Barack Hussein Obama, the biggest socialist Democrat of America, Donald John Trump said, I have had enough that I can't take any more. He wanted to make sure that there would be not another Democrat in the office of the White House, of the presidency, who would continue to use support and run the policies of the Obama administration, the Democrat Socialists of America, down the throats of the taxpaying Americans. Now, the Democrats caused, 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 I said, not just used, they caused the COVID pandemic because they paid for the coronavirus to be created in a lab and released on the American people and released all over this earth because, all because, the United Nations Agenda 20 Google it and you will see. No, sir, my wife was overdosed to death on fentanyl by Hamilton Medical Center. Eagle Nick hates fentanyl. Eagle Nick hates all opioids. Eagle Nick smokes cigarettes if he can keep them lit. There was no kids in the park, dumbass. This happens to be Monday morning and the kids are in school. Get a clue, you dumbass fool. And YouTube, I'm sorry if that's against your community standards, but I tell it like it is, like Billy Joe Roll once said in his song. Tell it like it is. I do not sugarcoat. I do not sit. I do not beg. I do not roll over. And I do not play dead. But most of all, Eagle Nick is not like Mr. Brian Johnson that you see on my live stream at the moment sitting here talking bad about Eagle Nick on it because I am standing up for my rights and the rights of the American people. I bet you if he would show you a picture, he has the biggest scratch marks on his knees that you have ever seen. Eagle Nick Audit says, Mr. Brian Johnson, get off your knees and get on your feet. Go buy some bologna if you want some meat. Well, Eagle Nick Audits ain't never had on no gloves. Eagle Nick Audits used to wear a couple of different boggins to boggins. Now, when I filmed my, recorded my first audit 
at the United States Post Office, everybody said the way the camera was so shaky that it affected them. But you've got to realize I live in Dalton, Georgia. It was freezing, freezing, freezing cold. I was riding this bicycle. My hands were froze to the bone. Hands warm up. I took out my phone and I started my audit. Now, at the time, I did not know about holding the phone sideways for a panoramic view. But when you are doing a live stream, it will only let you do it vertical. Mr. John Lugo, this is my job. If you don't like it, I don't care. But Eagle Nick Audits is glad to see you there. We got another one of them Blue Line Gang Bang Er supporters. Eagle Nick Audits does not get food stamps. I do not draw any government benefits. Eagle Nick Audits does not get a mental check, even though I should probably get three. You know what I mean, Vern? Yeah, I know what you mean. How about them? The Eagle Nick Audit says, I don't depend on my government. Eagle Nick Audits depends on the creator who made all things. Even a Dana Johnson, probably really a little punk ass girl using a man's name to try to make herself look bad. You know what I mean? I do not have a mole on my chest. That is not a mole, that is a brown spot. Eagle Nick, oh, this when I was a kid, I had freckles all over my face. I still have freckles on my body, but no, that is not a mole. The Eagle Nick Audit's got a bad case of sunburn. Eagle Nick Audit is sweating his ass off because it is extremely hot, and I do not have anything to drink with me. All I have is a pack of 24-7 Red 100s. As you will see, it, America, it is time. Eagle Nick Audits says that it is time that America flicks our BIC. BIC stands for Biden Induced Constipation because Joe Biden has his country in the crapper. Do you know what I mean, Vern? Eagle Nick Audits don't need a low boy. I don't mean to corrupt myself with cigarettes because I'm addicted to them. Just like Mr. Brian Johnson is addicted to being a boot-licking troll. Eagle Nick, not Eagle Rick. But that's all right. That's close enough. That's, that's, that's better than Eagle Prick. Eagle Nick is sick of the bullshit that spread so quick. Why would Eagle Nick want to drive a low boy? They get hung up on the railroad tracks. Eagle Nick, oh, this, he's already got enough people that hates him and that would like to kill me. Eagle Nick Audits don't need nothing else that would risk his life. 
or I'd be dead just like my wife. Eagle Nick Aldis has already showed that he has a driver's license. Eagle Nick Aldis could outdrive any damn race car driver there has ever been. Eagle Nick Aldis is actually the one who Charlie Daniels wrote the song about. Stroke Race was born to race, and that's all there is to it. What in the hell are y'all talking about a duck stock? How in the world did we get on cooking? Y'all need to check out. You're talking, look, you're talking about uh, making food. Mr. Robert Mack or Mark, Market, whatever it says, you need to check out at culinary dude c-u-l-i-n-a-r-y-d-u-d-e -E, one word on youtube now he is also in dalton georgia and he makes some of the best southern cooking he will show you how to make stuff that you have probably never had and if you had you never had it as good eagle nick all oh, this has seen his videos. Culinary Dude, C U L I N A R Y D U D E, one word on YouTube. Tell him that Eagle Nick sent you. Well, I do not know how to make gumbo, brother. I know how to boil an egg, I know how to make chocolate milk, I know how to make toast. But I also know how to ride my bicycle up there to Providence Ministry up the highway. They serve three times a day, seven days a week to help the poor and less fortunate like Eagle Nick Audits. Eagle Nick Audits does not go to the barber very often. If you paid attention to my driver's license, my hair was down to my shoulders. Now, Eagle Nick Audits can have his hair cut all the way off to look like a military-style haircut. And within two years' time, my hair will be all the way down my back. Eagle Nick Audits hair grows quick and so thick It happens so good, it makes all my brothers sick. Now, Eagle Nick started going gray when he was 17 years old. But my brother, who was one year older, had started going bald. Keep talking your trash. Eagle Nick audits has his bicycle seat set as low as it goes. Because as you will see, that says extra large. Extra large. I am extra large and in charge. It is not Rick. I told you it's Nick. N I C K. Mr. Panty Waste. Mr. Staying Off The Grid. Eagle Nick knew you couldn't stay head. Welcome back. I see that they have not kicked in your door when you was talking about that you was going to overthrow the federal government. Is that still your plan? Are you still planning on overthrowing the government? 
Yes, sir, Mr. Painty Waste. Do you know what Mr. Painty Waste means? That means you are that white crap in a pair of dirty panties. You know what I mean, Burn? Hey, Brian Johnson, there was somebody in here looking for you a while ago who goes by the name of Dees. Have you seen Dees, Mr. Brian Johnson? I do not have any DUIs. I ride a bicycle. Let's get back to what I said, though. Mr. JS, what did you do? Did you change your name? I was talking to Mr. Brian Johnson. Where did you go, Mr. Brian Johnson? I'm trying to tell you that D's was looking for you. No, sir, ma'am, I have never been down to Louisiana. Eagle Nick, oh, this has been all the way to Florida. I have been to Buffalo, New York. I have been to St. Louis and Washington, Missouri. No. Carolina, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Staying Off the Grid, but the old ladies is not around. Now, when I got here, there was an old lady sitting over here and said, she didn't want to be on recorded, and I told her I wasn't going to be recording. I was live streaming, and I informed her that I do not record or live stream the public, even though there is no expectation of privacy in public. It was not my intention to show any member of the public. Eagle Nick Audits came on here to talk about his arraignment in the morning at 9 a.m. So all the bootlicking trolls can hold their cards on Eagle Nick to try to step on my neck. But it won't work. I just want to let you know. Eagle Nick Audits would not want the job of president. As Donald John Trump said for 30 plus years. There he is, Mr. Brian Johnson. Welcome back. I have done told you, J.S., I do not have any do you eyes which stands for driving under the influence. But Mr. Brian Johnson, I've asked you a question. Are you not going to answer? You can spout all that crap, but you won't answer my question. There was somebody looking for you a while ago who goes by the name of D's. Have you seen D's, Brian Johnson? Dees is looking for you, Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson, knock, knock. Brian Johnson, knock, knock. That's what I thought. J.S., because... Eagle Nick sold his car because I was fed up with increasing insurance premiums every single damn year. Tickets are violations every single year. The corrupt insurance industry was causing the rates for my insurance, my premiums to increase year over year over year till Eagle Nick said, hell no, it's got to go. 
because I would not bow down and keep paying it. It was stupid. Hello, Fanny from Saudi Arabia. How are you doing today? I would like to know, Brian Johnson, knock, knock. I hate to tell you, you do not have to have an accident. If you have car insurance, it's that your insurance premium goes up. Whether you have accidents, whether you have traffic traffic tickets, you know you could get a ticket for running a stop sign. That is called a traffic ticket, a traffic violation. If you hit somebody in the rear end, that is called an accident. Now, Eagle Nick Audis did not have any traffic violations. I did not have no accidents. But every single year, the insurance premiums just kept climbing to where after I had had the same car, a brand new car that I owned outright. I did not owe anything. It did not have any liens on it. I did not owe the bank. I did not owe a so. I owned that vehicle outright. But every single year, my insurance premiums kept skyrocketing, going higher and higher till they were like the song that the Steve Miller band once sung, Big Old Jet Airliner. They were high in the sky and I just couldn't take it anymore. No, sir, I do not own a sow. I do not own any pigs. I just sometimes exercise my constitutional rights to record them or live stream them in the performance of their duty. And if they act Pignorant, Eagle Nick will call them out. Mr. Fentanyl, please stop taking that shit. Listen closely. Eagle Nick, N I C K. Not Rick, Eagle Nick. It's time we the people stand up for what is right. Break out our American flags and stand up and fight. Tell all of our government that we are sore and that we just will not take their bullshit anymore. Eagle Nick, Eagle Nick, you damn corrupt politicians are making me sick. Not oh, Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. Hey, they got plenty of fentanyl in China there, you bootlicking trolls. Why don't y'all go over and get you some of it? While you over, why don't you stay over? They a bunch of commies. Yeah, there was somebody in here yesterday staying off the grid that asked me to bang their old lady in front of them, but I told them I wasn't going to do that. I tell you what, I'm not going to keep singing because I'm scaring too many people off. I love 
the earth. I love everything that the Lord created. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Got a shotgun, a rifle, and a four-wheel drive, and a country boy can survive. Country folks can survive. Cause you can't stomp us out and you can't make us run. Cause when them old boys are raised on shotguns, we say grace and we say ma'am. If you ain't into that, well, we don't give a damn. We came from the West Virginia coal mines, the Rocky Mountains, and the Western skies. We can skin a buck and run a trot line, and a country boy can survive. Country folks can survive. No, sir, the only thing I know how to pick is my nose. And I can also pick a fight, but I don't really got to do no picking to get a fight. All I got to do is pull out this here little magic box y'all were all watching through. I'm able to wipe some of these boogers on you. I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight toker. I get my loving on the run. I'm a picker, I'm a grinner, I'm a lover, and I'm a sinner. I play my music in the sun. Ooh. Some people call me the space cowboy. Some call me the gangster of love. Some people call me Maurice, cause I speak all the pompouses of love. Hello, Miss Leah, how are you doing? Hello, Miss Leah. Leah, I'm so glad you are here on the Eagle Nick. Oh, on it show. Hey, you got that right. I've got the voice of an angel and a face only a mother could love. When I was little, I was so ugly. They had to put a bone around my neck just to get the dog to play with me. You know what I mean, burn. But it is not what is on the outside. It is what is on the ends. You know why? Because on the outside, baby, such a pretty girl. But on the inside, baby, ain't so pretty, pretty. And there'll be one less, one less man with a tear in his eye. One less man hanging on, wondering why I even bother to try. So, baby, bye-bye. Well, I'm very, 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 very glad to see everyone. How about some Randy Travis? Seem about like Randy Travis. Or Billy Joe Roll. I 
I am so glad to see everybody. And like I said, if you would like to make your own or have made professionally, feel free to have made or make yourself an Eagle Nick Audits T-shirt. It would do my heart good to know people are wearing a T-shirt that says Eagle Nick Audits. Now, I could set up a store. I could have them made and sell them myself. But Eagle Nick Audits is doing this for the people, of the people, and by the people. I also have the where I could create memberships, that I could start making my live streams or videos, members only. But there is certain people that could not even afford 99 cents a month. And Eagle Nick Audits does not want to exclude anyone. Eagle Nick Audits does not does not, does not want to deny anyone the rights, the privileges that we all share. We all have basic human rights. No, sir, I do not need to steal a van. I have a bicycle. I want you to look. Now, I've got a 22-pound bag of cat food that I just purchased at the Walmart. I have the receipt in my pocket if you would like to see it. But I carry that on my handlebars because I had to feed my little cats, you know, because little bitty cats can't go out and feed themselves, even full-grown cats. What do you mean? Do I love lesbians? Is that what you're asking? Because I really do not like anybody that would take food out of my mouth. You know what I mean, Vern? No, I cannot ride my bike with no handlebars, but I can ride it with no hands. I can hold my hands up in my air that's right they do deserve rights but that ain't what i said i just said that i do not like anyone that would take food out of my mouth you know what i mean burn if you cannot put two and two together i'm not going to spell it out no more i guess you do not understand well hello chris hansen Beaten with banjos. <laughs> that you see, you're not getting it either, there, Mister Fakwa. Too, I guess that's what it is. A lesbian takes food from my mouth. Think about it for a minute, but don't comment it out loud now. Use logic. Use common sense. Me and lesbians are competing, so let's leave it at that. You know what I mean? No, I don't want to go into detail. Look, Eagle Nick Audits is married, but my wife is deceased. Eagle Nick didn't kill her. Hamilton Medical Center killed my wife. They overdosed her on fentanyl. That's why my dislike of fentanyl is so great. No, that's to feed cats. Thank you very much. I appreciate you saying that. Eagle Nick. Oh, this. I'm not fat. Woo, baby. I look like I'm fat to you. How about that? Woo, woo, woo. That ain't too bad for a 57-year-old man, if I say so myself. 
I might be a little ugly. Got over my last one, and she's been dead for going on six years now. You know, we are still married, even though she is deceased. Well, this is not, well, this is Perina. This is Kit and Caboodle. But this is not for the lesbians. This is for my kitty cats. Meow, I'm Eagle Nick's kitty cat. And Blue Line gang banger supporters. Don't mind them because they got a sore throat. That's why they can only type in the comments because their throat is so far, so sore from licking them boots clean. All right, now, can you be talking like that? You, you apologize. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Please forgive me, y'all. Make sure y'all watch the Eagle Nick audit show before he flies away. How you like that? We got a fly. We got a fly in here. That is a drone. That is a new drone that they have sent out to try to spy on Eagle Nick. Let that drone sit here a while. Hello, Mr. Drone. You got anything to say? No, man, I'm just sitting here all right, didn't I? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, man, look what y'all did. Look, I want you to look what you did. You let my cigarette go out. That's all right. I'll let it back now. What's up there, Mr. Flesh Wolves? You are on the Eagle Nick Audit channel on YouTube. I am for the people, by the people, and of the people. I am here exercising my constitutional rights. I am standing up for the rights of the American people. Stand up or sit your ass down. I sure do thank you, Mr. Isaiah Caldwell. Eagle Nick really appreciates it. When you watch my videos, my shorts, and my live streams. Please be sure to let the ads play so that Eagle Nick can receive some sort of pay. Eagle Nick Audits does not ask for money. I have super thanks. But Eagle Nick thanks that you were all super. Now, I received three super chats, super thanks, while I was here yesterday evening doing a live stream. And you can go look at that live stream and you will see that Eagle Nick Audits is not fake, is not fraudulent. Eagle Nick Audits. Now, it touched my heart. And it just blew my mind that people could be so, as the Bible says, to love thy neighbor as thyself. There was one gentleman, one kindly gentleman, who sent Eagle Nick Audits two $10 super thanks and then there was another one. The first gentleman's YouTube handle was Distorted Reality, which is what we live in now, is a distorted reality where people believe what the Democrats say. They can't open their eyes and look that way to see what is going on. You know what I mean, Burn? Now, as I said, you can look at that live stream because it's been uploaded as a video and you see that it really touched me, that it made me cry. I could not control my emotions 
because I am not used to that. I am not used to people who will stand up for each other because Eagle Nick Audits did not ask for any money. Do you know what I mean, brother? Now, like I said, I have memberships, but I have not turned any on. Eagle Nick Audits will not be setting up memberships because I will not deny anybody access because there is people have your own made. I am telling you now, make you a Eagle Nick t-shirt or have it made. But do not make them to try to mass sell. I am in Dalton, D A L T O N, 30720. Look, Mr. Staying Off the Grid, I'm going to finally give you what you want. Oh, Eagle Nick, why'd you hit me for? You shouldn't have listened to that old crazy SOB. Now I'm going to cry. Oh, man, you made me hurt that little kitty. Why you want to make me hurt that kitty? Look, look at that little kitty. That kitty still got love in its eyes. You made me hurt that damn little kitty. Look at her, it spit all that food at its mouth. That little cat was eating that food. I can't believe you. Shame on you. Shame on you for making me do that just to try to appease you. Now don't ask me to punch nothing else. How about I punch this lighter? They are right up the road at my house. I live just right up the road, about a quarter mile west of here, just right up this road. You go up the road, then you turn the road. I do not take my cats out with me on my bicycle because they would jump off and get run over. It was a shame, Explorers. I did not want to hit punch that poor old cat, even though it's, it cried, too. It's still mad at me. But watch this. Do you still love me? Well, yeah, I still love you, Eagle Nick. I just hate that SOB that wanted you to hit me. I don't know why he would want you to hit a kitty. I didn't never scratch him or crap in his shoes or nothing. I don't know why he would be mad. He needs to go see a psychiatrist. It's... No, you mean a psychiatrist. No, I mean a psychiatrist. Because that dude's got a whole bunch of problems. He needs to go see a bunch of different doctors and see if he can't get something done about all that crap. You know what I mean, Burn? Hey, now, don't be using my lines there, kitty. That's what I say. You believe that? Got a daggum kitty cat trying to copy Eagle Nick. On it. But Eagle Nick is down here at the park. I'm telling you, but I didn't mean, I hope I didn't break its leg or nothing. But I, I sure do wish I had me an ice cold Mountain Dew if you're out there again, Officer Jenkins. I appreciate you bringing me that bottle of ice cold water while I was up there doing my live stream at the old recreation center downtown Dalton on the north side of Dalton. And I was doing a live stream up there, had been up there for an hour and 20 minutes doing a live stream. And I had stated that the water fountain did not work and that I wish I had a ice cold Mountain Dew or an ice cold bottle of water and I had had three Dalton Police Department vehicles or I like to call they some people call them vehicles Eagle Nick calls them vehicles but I had had three Dalton Police Department vehicles ride by I had got the number from each car as it went by and it said the number out loud now when I had said that about I wish I had an ice cold Mountain Dew or an ice cold bottle of water. I said, but I, it could, I, I didn't want one with the seal broke. 
but I had said that the water fountain didn't work. You know, I couldn't even get nothing to drink because the water fountain didn't work. Now, the thing about it is down here, this park does not have a water fountain, period. Now, I'm sure there is a water fountain up there at the well to do in where the big shots take their kids where they pay an exorbitant fee to the Dalton Parks and Recreation, pays a lot of money to buy the uniforms for them to play baseball, and they probably got a water fountain up there. I know they got a concession stand where they sell them a nice cold Coca-Cola, you know what I mean? And maybe a Pepsi or a Mountain Dew, but all they have down here is an old rinky dink old grill here that people has to bring their own aluminum foil to put on it because you see it's so old. It's been here since the day after Noah landed his ark. But the bathrooms are locked. They do not have restroom utilities for the poor. And I can guarantee you the bathrooms up there at the well-to-do end of the park, you know, that they keep them unlocked. But if a poor person brings their kids down here to play at the park, they cannot use the restroom. If an old person comes down here to enjoy a morning or evening, look, there's a squirrel. Hey, little squirrely. Hey, you gonna need all this. I come over here to visit you because your channel has a bunch of nuts. Yeah, I'm sorry, little squirrel. That's the wrong kind of nuts. So if you bite on them, you might get sick. But like I was saying, these bathrooms are locked up. How about that? Did anybody y'all know who that, that was here? Eagle Nick can't read it. I don't know if that's Alaco or Ico or what. But they might have been here they went not inside unless they brought their own damn key because they do not allow the poor people to be able to use the restroom at the park if you're going to use the best the restroom at the Al Robbins Park if you're not a well to do you better be wearing a diaper you know what I mean burn Because you will leave disappointed. You will not use a bathroom inside this park. Damn, I don't believe that. That little cat then tried to steal my damn lighter over here. Where'd you go there, Mr. Staying Off the Grid? Did that uh, little kitty cat get hit make you feel better and you decided to retire for the day? Hey, Fakwa2, you check out uh, my YouTube channel and I've got a few uh, videos of trains going uh, down the railroad track that has some that you have ever seen there are some of the best graffiti artists now I call it art they call it graffiti but I have video of some trains with some of the most elaborate art graffiti in other words that you will ever see now there's been ones went by that I wish that I had been a uh, recording when they first went by but I didn't I've seen uh, I've seen damn uh, Speedy Gonzalez I can't even remember what all I've seen I, I know I've seen, seen Speedy Gonzalez and quite a few other ones hey I appreciate you Fakwa too I really do can I ask you a question? Did you get your YouTube handle, Fakwa2? Is that a in reference to the movie Shrek? The Eagle Nick. Oh, this. I love the movie Shrek. I love all the Shrek movies. 
Sometimes Eagle Nick audits can identify with Shrek because Eagle Nick audits may not be good looking. And he ain't no good at cooking. But I do what I can. I can what I do. And ladies and gentlemen, I love you. I love everybody. I love you all, all the same. Eagle Nick Audits is the name. Now, I tell you what, my favorite Shrek character would have to be Donkey. But my favorite part in the first Shrek movie is when they go to Duloc and and uh, Shrek pushes that doggone sign and them little uh, marionettes comes out singing. I bet most of y'all didn't know that Eagle Nick was intelligent enough to know what a marionette is, did you? But Eagle Nick, oh, this can surprise you with just how much I know. Well, this is a TLC. YouTube only allows you to live stream vertical, that is with your phone, straight up and down. Now, I could turn the camera upside down, but I'm not trying to show you right now what kind of world we're living in. My least favorite character from the original uh, Shrek, I hate to say it, and don't get mad, but it would be Lord Farquaad because he epitomizes a Democrat. He wanted to run and control everything. He didn't want nobody to do nothing unless he said they could. They didn't do nothing without it benefited him. You know what I mean, Burn. Yes, sir, or ma'am, you can just walk outside. If you cannot bear the audio or the video or just the shrill voice of Eagle Nick, oh, it. all you have to do is push that little button that should be on either the left or the right of your phone and hold it in for just a minute. And then you can see the words pop up to shut down. If you will push that, you will shut Eagle Nick up and you will not have to look at anything else. Take your hairy ass outside. Get some sunshine and fresh air because if you don't watch, Eagle Nick don't care. Welcome back. Welcome back, Carter. Mr. Brian Johnson, the bullshit starter. We have missed you, you bootlicking troll. Welcome back to the Eagle Nick Show. Well, it don't look like there's nobody going to bring old Eagle Nick a ice cold Mountain Dew down here this time. Down here at Al Rollins Park in Dalton, Georgia. And he was here too, but then he decided to sort of try to wipe it out, but he didn't do a good job. The Eagle Nick audits has some hints for people who wants to do graffiti. Don't write your damn name down because that is evidence. Don't write down your nickname or your handle or your alias because they've got a real good way of uh, pulling it up. 
all they had to do is use a thing called a handwriting analysis and make you do some handwriting and they can compare said graffiti to your handwriting and you will be behind. Somewhere you will not be. It will look a lot like this. I've got a friend named Ramblin' Bob. He used to steal, gamble, and rob. He thought he was the smartest guy around. Well, I found out last Sunday that Bob got arrested Monday. They got him in the jailhouse way downtown. He's in the jailhouse now. He's in the jailhouse now. I told him once or twice that recording public service ain't nice. He's in the jailhouse now. Thank you there, uh, Mr. Explorers or Misers. Is it Mr. or Misers? So I will keep saying both. No, there is a power bottom, brother. That is a Dodge. That is one bad ride right there. That is a Dodge Charger or Challenger. Listen. Can you hear that? Now, that is one bad ride. Now, if anybody wants to buy Eagle Nick a big old bad Dodge Charger to drive around, hit me up, baby. I will drive that baby all around town. I'll say, this is Eagle Nick, all this, and I'm out in the Dodge Charger. But I would have to charge her because I don't have no cash. I believe I would pass on the power bottom. Eagle Nick would rather have a flat bottom boat eagle nick does not take bait how many times do i gotta say it eagle nick oh this is a fisher man i am not a fish there goes my wife's uncle mr joe how you doing there mr joe but I sure would like to have a nice cold Mountain Dew. I don't really know uh, the song by uh, Flat and Scruggs, Some Old Day. I, only one I know by him is, let me tell you a story about a man named Jed. The poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting at some food and up through the ground come a bubbling crude. All oh, that is black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. As Kim folks said, Jed, move away from there. They said California is the place you ought to be, so they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly Hills. That is swimming pools and movie stars. No, I really do not know uh, any Johnny Rebel. Donald John Trump, all the way. The only thing I, I want to see about Joe Biden is him to go back in his basement where he belongs. You know, Joe Biden spent all them months in his basement before the election because they had to create create all them fake ballots somewhere. And why do you keep spouting your trash? I bet you your your nickname is Lion Brian. Ignoramus. No, Joe didn't beat Trump from the basement. Joe Biden couldn't beat my meat. 
Because my baloney has a first name. It's O C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's M A Y E R. Oh, I love to eat it every day. And if you ask me why, I'll say Joe Biden is so damn corrupt that he just needs to go away. No, you're the one that keeps talking about dudes there, you boot-licking old Brian Johnson. I got something for you there, Mr. Brian Johnson. Hey, there's somebody knocking there for you, Mr. Brian Johnson. Brody, he won't answer knock-knock. I done did a knock-knock. He just wouldn't answer. Brian Johnson, knock-knock. I got knock knock. See, you're so damn pignorant. You are pignorant. You are, are pignorant. You have pignorance. I don't believe that you are actually a thin blue line gang banging boot licking. I believe you are actually a thin blue line gang banger. I believe you are in law enforcement. I believe you are in some form of government, but I also believe you are really a lady. Do you wear your skirt as low as this so you don't have to sit down when you take a piss? Because you are starting to piss Eagle Nick off. He is pignorant. He is a pignoramus. Brian is so damn dumb that he don't even know how to say who is there or who's there. So I could tell him like I've been trying to tell him. They is somebody been looking for you, Brian Johnson. They is somebody been asking for you by name. They said that they wanted to leave a message for Brian Johnson that they were looking for you. Are you so ignorant that you cannot even ask who or say who's there? I guess you are, so I will go ahead and tell you that they was somebody looking for you. They go by the name D's. D's nuts. And you see that squirrel over there? He said you could come play with his nuts too because he's got a whole tree full of them. But I told him that you didn't like them type of nuts. Hey there, I told you I'm at the damn Al Rollins Park in Dalton, Georgia, right off Threadmill Road. I will meet you halfway if you think you're so bad. You know what I mean, Burn. They ain't damn nothing but between us. Look here, Brian, I'm gonna show you something. There ain't nothing between us but air and opportunity. There went the air, big boy. Bring your ass on down here. You know what I mean, Vern? It's what I thought, you little chicken shit. No. Hello, mister. Staying off the grid. I'm not going to torture that poor old little squirrel. I'm doing something else for you instead. Look, you like to see torture, right? You want to see some torture. Am I right? Staying off the grid. Oh, Mr. Kitty's still over here. He's crying. I think he feels better now. He's still mad at staying off the grid there. Look. I still love
it, but that damn staying off the grid. I don't know why he wants to be that way. He just acts like that. Uh, like, like, I don't know. I just don't understand. But that old J Brian Johnson, I think he's a bigger pussy than I am. But, uh, Mr. Staying Off the Grid, I'm going to show you some torture, okay? You ready? Eagle Nick. Oh, this. I'm torturing my lungs right now, and I'm doing it just for you. Are you happy now? Brian Johnson, he's staying off the grid. You know why? He's trying to stay away from jackasses like you. I can understand why they'd want to stay off the grid. Look, here is a couple of peach pits. I'm pretty sure these came out of a peach. These are peach pits, and we are in the peach state. Now, Mr. Brian Johnson, he's so damn dumb that when he got he bought a pack of seeds and it said to plant them, he stuck them up, he's wrecked them. I believe Mr. Brian Johnson is related to the freak that I spotted at the post office. Have any of y'all heard about the freak that I have spotted at the post office? Would y'all like to hear the story about the freak? About the day I saw him. Now, when I did my first audit at the post office, when Officer Cruz showed up, he was the first officer on the scene. I asked him if he was there for the funeral because there was a Dalton City Police Department officer had hit his siren and had his blue lights on to let a hearse come through the red light headed south on 41 Highway. Now, uh, I asked Officer Cruz, I said, are you here for the funeral? Or are you here for the man with the camera? Now, Officer Cruz said, that he didn't know. He said he was there about somebody cursing and yelling. Now you can see the full video on my YouTube channel with Officer Cruz and Lieutenant Bishop and the little mama's boy, the little yes man, Officer Andrews, who would not even answer me to tell me his name and badge number until he looked over at Lieutenant Bishop and pointed at him. And then he tried to say his name, but he was standing to my left and I am deaf in my left ear. And I had started talking, addressing back Lieutenant Bishop from what he was saying. So I only caught, when I watched the video, his name, Officer Andrews. I never actually caught his badge number. But now when L Officer Cruz had said that he was there about someone cursing and yelling, I said, are you here? I said, are you here about a suspicious person? I said, no, I saw a suspicious person. I said, I seen a, a guy come out that door down there. I said he was three foot tall, six foot wide. He had two noses and he was farting lasers. So if you see him, I would look out. Now I also spotted the freak again and I noticed that he had a shock of purple hair that was 11 inches high and two foot wide across his head and both of his noses 
were pierced. He had two noses. Both of his noses were peered to the outside, to the right nostril. Now, I'm pretty sure that Brian Johnson is related to that freak at the post office. Yes, Eagle Nick knows 11 inches because I used to give it to my wife all the time until she died. But that is not what killed her. She died because the hospital overdosed her with fentanyl. The Eagle Nick audience knows the big 10 inch. Now she just loves my big 10 inch record of her favorite blues. I, I, I. Say, looking on back when I was young, I tried to sing you, yeah, but my song had been sung, and now I ain't got no worries, ain't got no one to call my own. But when I got a little bit older, all I got had come undone. Let's go, boys. Yes, she did die intentionally because she was a drug addict. She was high on methamphetamines, marijuana, and benzos, and she went up to the hospital, had a, a, an electric procedure done on her heart where they shot her up with fentanyl so that she could speedball, which is, I'm sure is something that you know a whole lot about there, Mr. Brian Johnson. Hey, my wife was a bad ass, one mean lady, but most of the time she wasn't a lady. My wife, if she was alive, if Brian Johnson come down here, I wouldn't have to do nothing. My wife would stomp the grease out his ass. He would just be a greasy spot in the parking lot. I could not save my wife because I was not listed as an emergency contact because I could not put up with my wife's drug use no more. She was staying with another man who allowed her to do methamphetamines and anything she wanted to do because I couldn't put up with it. Now, I had had dreams. God had showed me in dreams and in visions for years, for five years, how my wife was going to die. But he did not show me that it was going to be the hospital that overdosed her, Hamilton Medical Center, and that the emergency room at Hamilton Medical Center would let my wife lay there on a ventilator the whole time, her brain being fried by the overdose of the fentanyl, causing brain damage, irreversible brain damage, because they never gave her Narcan, which was all they would have had to do. But they would not give her Narcan because they were sick and tired of my wife coming up to the emergency room trying to get opioid pain pills. They let my wife die intentionally and there was nothing that I could do about it because my wife was holding a grudge against me. My wife did not find a better man. My wife found a man that was so damn sorry that he could have told them that she was high on methamphetamine that, and that they had overdosed her on fentanyl, but he did not say shit because he had been doing meth with my wife and he did not want to be arrested 
for being an intravenous drug user, a low-life scumbag piece of shit. Now, if I had a node the kind of man I am, I would not have rested until I found out what went on. I would have knew that they had overdosed her on fentanyl and I would have made them give her Narcan to where she would have lived. Now that's not to say that she would still be alive today because she had free will just like you do, Brian Johnson. I did not let her die, just like I did not let you come in here and start saying all your bullshit. That was her decision. That was her choice because she has free will, just like everything that you spout out that comes spewing out of your vile and corrupt mouth. That is what you want to say. It is called free will, but it is also called a First Amendment protected activity, free speech. You have the right to say anything you want to about Eagle Nick, but I can guarantee you the stuff you have been saying has been offensive to other users who are watching this live stream, other subscribers who watch my shorts and videos, and I can guarantee you, Mr. Brian Johnson, unless you have another YouTube channel that you can hide like a little girl to come back in my next live stream, they will not see you anymore when I get home. Brian Johnson, you are a damn liar. There has been no truth come out of your mouth, but I bet you there's been a whole lot of things going in there, and it ain't things that should be going in there either. Do I have any moderators that is on this live stream? If I do, I would ask you to please hide Brian Johnson from my channel. It is time for Brian Johnson to go. Goodbye, Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson, I bet your favorite song it's by Brian Adams, and it's the summer of 69. But it wasn't you and your girlfriend. It was you and your boyfriend. You know what I mean? It's time for you to get a damn life. Quit being a dumb-ass, dirty-ass Democrat. Brian Johnson, you got your back broken. It wasn't on no mountain either. I bet you Brian Johnson goes out and gets himself arrested just so he can find him a new boyfriend every now and then. Brian Johnson, I'm, you damn right I'm a Republican. You damn right I get sensitive, but it's because you are offending other people. I don't give a damn what you say about me, but the shit you are saying is offensive to other people. And Mr. Poozer, you ain't nothing but a big ass boozer. 
I bet when you get through drinking that 40 ounce beer that you stick it up your ass, don't you? I bet you can take a 40 ounce beer bottle and shove it up your ass so far that you can't even see it. I bet I could stick a 40 ounce beer up your ass sideways and never touch the side. I bet you could shit in a 50 gallon barrel and never hit the sides. No, I believe it was your daddy that taught you how. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Johnson's boyfriend is in the house, Mr. Poozer. Why don't you take your boyfriend, Brian Johnson, and y'all go sodomize each other? Are y'all mad at each other? Brian Johnson, take your foot out of your ass because your boyfriend, Poozer, has got something else he wants to put up there. You know what I mean, Burn? I bet you do love Poozer. I know you love Poozer. I know Poozer loves you. Y'all are two peas in a pod. Y'all are the ones who they wrote Broke Back Mountain off of. You got a broke back, all right. You know, Eagle Nick can break a chick's back, but I don't break a dude's back. That's for faggots like you. And I guess YouTube's gonna get mad because I called you a faggot. I know y'all prefer the word queer. Now, YouTube, you better not start damn censoring what I said because you know it is called the L B Q T Z Y X B O alphabet soup gang you know what i mean and the q in that damn acronym means queer now you know when i was a kid the word queer meant something meant somebody who was acting funny but brian johnson you're not funny you know the word gay meant happy and that is because Mr. Barack Hussein Obama was one of the ones in the Bible it talks about as a false antichrist who would seek to change the times and the seasons that would change the way things were, who changed the word of the meaning of gay from meaning happy to meaning something totally different. Brian Johnson epitomizes those words. Brian Johnson qualifies. He would be the pole sitter, if you know what I mean. I'll bet you Brian Johnson takes the pole position at every race, don't you? I bet you Brian Johnson buys his Vaseline in a 50-gallon barrel. Joe Biden, you creepy smelling felon, get off my damn YouTube channel. I know that's you calling yourself poozer. You ain't nothing but a Democrat loser. We're overrun with trolls. Overrun with trolls. Yeah, it'll be Joe Biden 2024. His ass will be going out the door. We're going to kick him to the curb, just like you're going to be kicked to the curb, crackhead. And Poozer, I'll tell you like all the rest of them, I'm tired of you damn boot-licking trolls going looking in the mirror and seeing your reflection and trying to act like that it is Eagle Nick 
all this when you are only seeing a reflection of yourself. You are only telling the world of how you are because you are nothing but a big old giant. This is Poozer when he is sticking his tongue up Brian Johnson's ass. Your tongue in Joe Biden's ass. That's what I say. Eagle Nick, N-I-C-K, not Eagle Rick. Brian Johnson, I bet your real name is Richard because you are a, a little dick. But we're going downhill fast, and I'm getting tired of this. There's too many damn trolls got on here. It seems like I got, I've got more trolls in here than anything else. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. I even, even, even appreciate all you boot-licking trolls this day. It is time to end. They are mowing the grass. It is time for Eagle Nick to hit the road with the cat food on my handlebars. It's a heavy load, but not as big as the load that Brian Johnson and his boyfriend Poozer takes every day. Eagle Nick, oh, this. I am.